Ms. Aravinis Ocampo, a Hospitality Management Instructor. Welcome to my class! A pleasant day to each and every one of you. Welcome to our class, Accommodation Operations Management. So for today's discussion, we are going to talk about linen and uniform rooms. So as we all know in relation to the housekeeping management, that linen is the housekeeping department's second largest expense. So the overall responsibilities include providing clean, crisp linen to the rooms, restaurant and other F&B outlets, health clubs and beauty parlors, and of course, uniforms to all the uniformed employees. So the linen and the uniform room is a central depot for all hotel linen and this is the place where all the clean linens are distributed throughout the establishment. So as we go along the way in this discussion, you are going to learn about linen and uniform rooms. So let's start. So linen in a technical sense is the stem fiber extracted from the cultivated plant called flax. So as you can see in the picture, there are flax seeds, so which upon into yarn and woven into fabric. So as you can see in the So as you can see in the picture from flax seeds, it became a green flax straw. It became a broken flax, a scotch flax, a comb flax, and later on, it became a linen fabric. But in a commercial sense, especially in hospitality industry or hotel industry, the usage of the term linen includes all the fabrics that are used in hospitality industry. Well laid out, and stock up linen room satisfies the needs of the guests with comfortable and pleasing room furnishing. So as you can see in the picture, pag sinabi nating linen with regards to hospitality industry, is ito yung mga ginagamit ng mga guests. Okay? From the bed to the, let's say, from the bed linen to the bathroom linens to the F&B linens to the uniforms of the personals and employees, so lahat ng yan, nakapaloob doon si linen. So, the main function of this is to make the guests comfortable and have a pleasing room furnishing. So, the linen room is responsible for the selection criteria for linen and various linen items that go into bedspreads, blankets, pillowcases, upholstery, curtains, bathroom accessories including towels of various kinds and sizes along with covering their purchase, stock up, supply and cleaning. So basically, when we say linen room, so dito lahat nakapaloob, di ba? Lahat ng mga types of linens na ginagamit natin sa hotel kapag tayo is nag-check-in at lahat ng mga nililinis at lahat ng mga inaasikaso ng mga housekeepers at yung mga in-charge sa linen room area. So in here, sa mga large hotels kasi, most likely, the housekeeping department basically comprises of several areas para mas mapaganda yung guest service. At isa sa mga areas na in charge para sa guest service is of course the linen and the uniform room. Of course, along with the laundry equipment room, the flower arrangement room, the tailoring room, and the upholstery repair Room. So, depende yan kung ang isang hotel is large hotel or small hotel. So, depende sa kanilang um, procedure at depende sa kanilang layout. Okay? So, the linen room is the center stage for the supporting role that the housekeeping department plays in the hotel. So, most linen rooms are centralized and act as a storage point and distribution center for the clean linen. So, pag sinabi nating centralized linen room, ibig sabihin, lahat ng mga linens are all maintained in a small manner at central point. So, ibig sabihin, isa lang yung pinanggagalingan at lahat ng mga linens is doon kukunin, doon i-stock um, up, doon din siya i-deliver. So, dito, makikita natin sa picture na 
lahat ng mga linens, even the pillow or the in the pillow cases, mga towels, mga duvet, so lahat sila is naka organized. Now, what are the activities of the linen room? So as you can see in the picture, we are going to discuss it one by one. So first is the collection and transportation. So kung makikita natin dyan sa picture, so it is an essential activity where laundry services are on outside contract and it's facilitated through the use of shoots, canvas bags, trolleys, collapsible wire carts, and skips, and many more. So, ibig sabihin, sa collection and transportation, dito natin kinukolekta, dito natin kinukuha lahat ng mga linens na kailangan linisin. Okay? Na kailangan laban. And most likely, sa transportation, pwede rin natin paglagyan itong mga canvas bag na to or mga trolleys. So, next one is the sorting and counting. So, syempre, isa sa mga role ni linen room at ni laundry department and housekeeping department also is to sort. Okay? So, when we say sorting, it is carried out primarily to make counting easy as well as for streamlining laundry procedures. So, bakit ba tayo nagsosort? Bakit ba natin um, sinosort yung mga linens? Bakit natin siya pinaghiwahiwalay? Bakit natin siya kailangan itali? So, syempre, para maging organized. So, syempre, dito natin malalaman sa room 140, ilang linen yung nagamit nila. ba diba? Most likely, kapag tayo is mag-check-in sa hotel, kung tayo is apat na mag stay sa room, so, apat na bath towels, apat na mga face towel ang ilalagay doon sa bathroom. And in case you need an extra towel, so, pwede mo siyang i-request kay housekeeping department. So, sa pagsusort at sa pagka-count, it is very important in the linen room. So, the next one is the packaging. So, syempre, yung mga linens, hindi yan basta-basta um, ini-stock up lang. So, kailangan may packaging. So, linen is packed in canvas bags to prevent damage on transit to the linen articles. So, dito kasi may mga linens na may mancha, di ba? May mga linens na na-stay ni guests. So, syempre, ang gagawin is kailangan nakapack siya properly. And usually, gumagamit tayo ng mga canvas bags or mga plastic bags. And syempre, kapag siya is um, tapos ng laban, kailangan nang i-distribute, so ilalagay pa rin siya doon. So, same item or kung ano yung magkakamukhang item, so pare-pareha sila na nakapack. And then, we also have this patch. So, the time for off-premise laundry dispatch is usually between 13 to 16 hours. So, most likely, it is from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Okay? So, yung mga servicing rooms is over then and the guest laundry is been collected. So, sa pag-dispatch, so, ang ginagawa natin dito is may specific time lang ng pag-dispatch natin ng mga linens. So, after ng check-out process, so, syempre, kukunin na ni housekeeper yung mga linens na yan, and then, pagkakuha nila ng mga soiled linens o yung mga maduduming linens, ilalagay na nila agad yon doon sa laundry department para nang sa ganun is malaban na siya agad. Okay. So, the next one is deliveries. Of course, so yung mga clean linen after linisen is delivered back in the morning hours and evening deliveries are usually for guest laundry. So yung mga linens na ginagamit natin sa room, yung mga linens na ginagamit sa food and beverage restaurant, so after siyang linisen or after siyang laban, so sa morning na kinabukasan siya, ibabalik sa linen room. Okay? And syempre, sa gabi, yung mga guest laundry, kung may request si guest na nagpalabas, si room 104. So, sa gabi siya pwede i-deliver ni valet attendant. Okay? So, may mga valet attendant kasi tayo na in charge para i-deliver yon o kaya naman yung housekeeping department. And then, we also have checking and inspection. So, dito makikita natin. Lalong-lalo na kung ikaw ay housekeeping manager or manager ka sa laundry department at in charge ka din sa linen room, dito mo makikita 
Kailangan na ba natin magpalit ng mga towels sa hotel? Majority ba ng towels natin is hindi na maganda yung quality? Baka mamaya yung mga towels natin puro stain, hindi masyadong nalalaban. May mga sira, may mga punit na. So, in this case, we are going to check and inspect it. Kasi hindi naman natin pwedeng ibigay yun kay guests kapag hindi na siya in good condition and in good quality. So, we want na ibigay kay guests yung mga clean linens, not dissolved or damaged linens. So, next one is storage. So, syempre, after the delivery, after na malinis yung mga linen, you need a proper storage. Kaya nga may storage, doon natin i-organize lahat ng mga linens. So, it is very important for us to learn what are the different types of linen. Diba? Para naman tayo is nag-work sa hospitality and tourism industry in the future, if you are gonna work in this kind of industry, at least you are not an, uh, kumbaga, hindi ka inosente, di ba? Na hindi mo alam kung ano itawag sa ganitong bagay, hindi mo alam kung ano itawag sa ganitong sheet. So later on, we will learn about it. And then, repair and alterations. So sometimes, may mga linens na hindi naman kailangan napalitan agad o hindi naman natin kailangan bumili ng bago. So most likely, sa linen room, sa laundry department, sa housekeeping department, may ino-offer siyang services which is the repairs and alterations. Even the guests na gustong magpa-repair ng kanilang damit, let's say for example, hindi inaasahan biglang sumabit tapos na, um, let's say, na butas yung damit ni guests o biglang nawarak, di ba? So, pwede niyang ipa-repair yun, pwede niyang ipa-alterate sa hotel. Yun is depende kung may ganong services na ino-offer si hotel. Sometimes it is off-premise, Meron lang silang contract or kontrata na um, pinirmahan and then ibang um, shop or ibang laundry services yung gagawa nun. And then we also have the distribution to various departments. So in this case or in this activity, so it is generally done on a clean for dirty basis. So some hotels use other systems of exchange. And in some hotels, specific timings are fixed for issue of linen. So ngayon, kapag uh, malinis na, di ba? Malinis na, organized na, and naayos na lahat ng mga linens, so kailangan na siyang i-deliver sa iba't ibang departments sa hotel. So first is nangangailangan talaga dyan is si housekeeping department. So, kailangan i-deliver yung mga linens na to kay housekeeping department sa pantry area nila and then sa F&B department. Kasi si F&B department, gumagamit din sila ng mga table napkin, mga table linens, lalong-lalo na kapag may mga events. Ma'am, kahit ilan po ba yung i-distribute na linens sa mga departments na to? No. So, meron lang pong specific na number of items or number of linens ang kailangan natin ilabas in a specific time. Okay? So, depende po yan sa procedure or operating procedure din ng hotel. And then, we also have the stock taking and records. So, si stock taking and records, so dito sinasabi natin that many records are entered on a day-to-day -day basis for the exchange of linen between the linen room, laundry, and floors department. So, dito, makikita natin yung tinatawag na purchase records. So, sino ba si purchase record? So, our essential and records of condemned linens and makeovers are usually maintained. So, dito nakikita natin, ano ba yung mga linens na kailangan na natin palitan? Ano ba yung mga linens na kailangan natin bilin? So, dito makikita din natin about, let's say, sa stock Taking and records, you have to count what you have, okay? The actual or the physical stock. So, ibig sabihin, kung meron tayong isang libong bath towel sa ating small hotel, you have to count it, you have to make an inventory, and you have to compare it with what you are supposed to have, okay? Kasi baka mamaya ang nakarecord sa'yo is 1,000 bath towels, pero yung actual na bath towels na naka-stock up sa iyong linen room is 800 na lang. So, saan napunta? 
'di ba? Na iuwi ba ni guests 'yon? Hindi ba natin na double check yung mga rooms after nilang mag-check out, 'di ba? So, it is very important na lahat 'yon is naka-record. And then security. So, syempre, in the linen room area, there should also be a security. So, it is important that the access of the linen room is restricted so as to prevent misuse and to guard against fire breakouts, linen room is strictly a non-smoking area. So, si linen room, hindi lahat ng mga housekeepers, hindi lahat ng mga employees sa hotel is pwedeng pumasok sa linen room. Hindi rin dito pwedeng pumasok si guest. So, may mga persons in charge lang na pwedeng pumasok sa linen room may mga tao lang na in charge para i-disseminate, para maglabas ng mga linens and most likely, iniiwasan natin na magkaroon ng misuse. Iniiwasan din natin na magkaroon ng sunog dito sa linen area or sa linen room kasi nga bawal dito mag-smoke, kaya nga siya non-smoking area. And syempre, we also want na maging secure, di ba? Secure yung ating mga kagamitan yung mga properties within the hotel. So, those are the activities of the linen room. So, how about the hours of operation? So, this varies from one organization to another, but it is usually from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. or at least 10 hours in a day. So, si linen room, yung mga taong nagtatrabaho doon, usually it takes um, 12 hours or 10 hours a day para sila is magtrabaho. But in case na may mangyaring mga urgent requirement for the linen during the night, so si duty manager or the night house person may supply the items from an emergency store or from the main linen room and leaves a note with details of what has been removed. So dahil nga hindi naman 24 hours na may tao sa linen room, so, kung present si duty manager at present yung night house person, so, pwede natin na, um, let's say, pwede natin kunin yung kailangan natin na linen and iti-take note na lang natin yung kinuha natin. Para na sa ganun, the next morning, makikita nila na okay, si duty manager kumuha ng limang bath towel kasi nag-request si room 304. Okay, so next, how about the location of the linen room? So, saan ba natin makikita si linen room sa hotel? So, the linen room is generally located adjacent to the laundry. Okay, so adjacent or adjacent to the laundry. So, if on-premise, usually with an interconnecting door between the rooms near the service entrance, if the laundry is off-premise, it is near the service elevator for easy transportation to various units. So, away from the food production area to avoid fire hazards as well as to prevent linen from absorbing food odors, smoke, soot, and dampness. So, si linen room, pwedeng katapat lang siya ng laundry area or pwede naman na interconnected siya kay laundry Area. So, for example, ito si laundry area, yung isang pinto na pwede mong pasukan doon is the linen room. Malayo din po siya sa food production kasi delikado yon. Paano kung biglang magkasunog, di ba? Paano kung magkaroon ng, um, let's say, leakage sa mga gripo tapos bumahab or daging um, wet yung floor or nagkaroon ng dampness. So, maapektuhan si linen. And syempre, it is also, um, iniiwasan din natin na ilayo siya sa food production kasi di ba yung amoy? Yung amoy ng pagkain pag magluluto tayo, so madaling kumapit yun sa mga linens. And sometimes it is near the service elevator para nga naman madali siyang i-transport sa iba't ibang floor levels ng hotel. So in our next meeting, I will show you the laundry or in the linen room of Crown Regency Resort and Convention Center. So, doon si ma'am nag-OJT um, nung ako'y third year college. So, that is in Boracay. So, I will show you the different um, parts of the hotel next meeting. So, the planning and the layout of linen room. So, ma'am, basta-basta na lang po ba na 
itinatayo yung linen room basta-basta na lang na okay may vacant room dito natin ilagay yung linen room so of course no it has an architectural features kasama siya sa architectural features ng isang hotel it has is hygiene and safety aspects and may mga activities area within the linen room so let me show you a picture so ayan ito isa to sa mga layout ng linen room so as you can see sa gitna ayan ito yung blue um, square na to is the linen keeper's desk so may desk upon entrance and then exchange hatch so ito yung mga table so pwede may table dyan and then doon nila ilalapag yung mga soiled linens and then, you can see, they have two counters, right and left. So, sa right side, makikita natin dito yung counter papunta sa laundry area. May mga trolleys din kung saan mo ilalagay yung mga linen. And then, may mga area kung saan mo matatagpuan yung sheet and pillow, towels, and yung mga linens na madalang gamitin. So, on the left side naman, nakahiwala yung pang F&B. So, sa F&B linen, makikita natin dito yung mga blankets and bedspreads, extra curtains, and mga condemned linens. So, si blanket, extra curtains, and condemned linens, kinagamit pa rin natin to sa mga guest room. And si F&B linen, most likely kakaunti lang naman yan, depende kung may event center yung hotel or malaki yung kanilang restaurant. Ayan, so you can see also the sample layout of a laundry department. Ayan, makikita ninyo na maraming washing machine, yung mga malalaking washing machine or commercial washing machines. They also have the chemical room kung saan nakastock up lahat ng mga um, chemicals, yung mga detergents na ginagamit nila. They have a working table, okay? Calendaring machine. I'm not familiar about this, pero isa to sa mga ginagamit din. And most likely kasi ginagamit natin talaga dito is the flat iron press. So, isa siyang malaking machine na kung saan instant niyang paplansyahin lahat ng mga duvet, lahat ng mga blankets, towels, and so on. Ayan. So, makikita nyo naman dito sa picture. So, in the next um, slide, I will show you a, an example video of the hospital linen room. So, kindly check this out and see kung ano ba yung itsura ng linen room ng isang ospital. At HLS, we provide an on-site trained linen manager and linen distribution staff to handle all aspects of linen operation and linen utilization management. Well, currently our HLS management team allows for the day-to-day -day operations in our department. Um, they work hard with their own associates to provide um, direct patient care um, assistance to our nursing staff, making sure they have what they need on a daily basis to take care of their patients. Currently we're working on a number of um, initiatives here at Lutheran General to try to reduce costs but at the same time provide exactly um, the type of linen that the nurses and the staff need to take care of their patients. Of course they work on a daily basis um, with the nursing staff to make sure they have the right hard level of linen on their units, uh, not too much and not too little. Linen management allows for a hands-off approach to linen for our customers. The linen manager is accountable for seven days a week, round-the-clock distribution services of clean deliveries to end users, soiled linen collection, as well as daily on-site inventory management. The greatest value the HLS Linen Management Program offers our customers is through our cost control programs, such as staff education, linen utilization assessment, process improvement implementation, and daily communication with key hospital personnel and end users. With the HLS Linen Management Team, there's only one focus, linen. We can bring all the pieces together in the hands of experienced linen professionals, allowing you to focus time and effort on your core competencies of patient care. Okay, so the next one are the selection criteria for linen items. So in here, we are going to find out what are the different linen items um, that are used by different hotels. So we have here the bed linen, we also have the soft furnishings, we also have the bath linen and the napery. So first is we have the bed linen. 
Ayan, so you, as you can see, the bed sheets. So when we say bed sheets, usually ito yung ginagamit natin sa mga beds, de ba? Pag tayo is mag-check in sa isang hotel, so gumagamit tayo ng mga bed linens. So si bed sheet, so most likely may mga sizes siya, depende sa laki ng bed. If it is a double bed, queen bed, king bed, de ba? Or twin bed or single bed. So yung nakikita nyo yung white na yan, yung white sheet. So you can call it as bed sheet. And then we also have the pillow cases. Ayan. And then the blankets. So si blanket, some of the hotels, uh, meron sila mga colored blankets na ginagamit. Um, other hotels preferably use white blankets. Okay. So we also have here soft furnishings. We have the duvet. From the word itself, soft. Ito yung mga um, talagang sobrang lambot na mga linen. Okay? For example, the duvet. Ayan, kung makikita nyo, yung nasa up or nasa top ng bed, yung makapal. So, ang tawag dyan is the duvet. And si duvet, pag yan, is sustain na ng isang guest. Usually, malaki ang corresponding charges. So, we also have the bedspread. So, si bedspread naman, as you can see, so, bedspread is a lightweight, quilted cover used as a decorative element on your bed. So, usually, sila is mga full size, okay? Malalaki. And their main purpose is to cover, okay? Cover everything in the bed, including the pillows, and have enough room to drape over the edges. So, as you can see in the picture, yung edges hanggang pinakababa, nakatakip or natatakpan si bed. So, that is bedspread. And then, we also have curtains. Ayan. So, alam naman na nating lahat yan. Curtains. The next one is the cushion cover or upholstery. So, anything na pang cover ng ating mga sofa. Ayan. So, mga upholstery. So, included din siya sa soft furnishings. So, next one is the bath linen. So, si bat linen naman, kung makikita natin, we have various sizes of bat linen. So, we have the washcloth, the hand towel, we have the bat mat. So, si bat mat, so it keeps the floor dry. Okay, so nasa sahig siya. And then, bat towel, ayan, so for drying the body and hair. And we also have the bat sheet. So, drying body and hair with extra coverage. So, yung mga hotels, pagpasok natin or pag-check-in natin, so, isa yan sa mga makikita natin sa bathroom area. And, syempre, pinoprovide yan ni housekeeping department. And then, we also have the napery. We have here the table linen and the banquet frills or yung tinatawag natin na jupon. So, dito sa napery, sinasabi lang dito na anything or any linens na ginagamit sa food and beverage department. So, from the table um, cover, from the top cover, from the, um, let's say, table napkin na ginagamit, ba? Table runners. So, lahat yan is included kay Napery. So, the next one is the purchase of linen. So, there are three major factors to be considered when purchasing a linen. So, we have the quantity, quality, and size. So, the quantity of linen purchase is largely dependent on the factor shown in the figure in your module. So, kung makikita ninyo or if you have your modules with you, as you can see here, yung quantity ng linen o yung dami ng linen na bibili natin is nakadepende yon sa size ng hotel. Okay. Depende rin yun sa standard of the organization. Ano ba yung standard ninyo pagdating sa pagbili ng linen? Depende yun sa turnover or occupancy. ba? Baka naman mamaya, small hotel, you only have 10 rooms, so you don't need to buy a lot of linens. And depende rin yan sa laundering facilities. So generally, a hotel should have a minimum of 3 sets of linen. Okay? So, dapat daw ang isang hotel, yun yung pinaka-minimum. May tatlong set sila ng linen. So, in here, linen coverage is a term used to refer to the total number of sets of linen 
maintained by the hotel and distribution. And ang tawag natin sa set of linens na ini-inventory or sinasama sa inventory is the term PAR. Okay? P-A-R. Okay? So, it is pronounced as PAR. So, yung dami ng linen or yung dami ng sets of linen na meron tayo sa hotel. Next one is the quality. So, the best quality linen must be selected within the available budget. So, syempre, may mga hotels na gusto nila is high quality. Usually, mga binibili nila mga Turkish kind of um, brand and quality ng mga towels, ng mga linen. So, dito nakapaloob yung quality ng fiber, diba? yung selection, fiber selection, thread count, finishes, especially color fastness, and reputed manufacturers. Baka mamaya bibili ka ng uh, mga towels, tapos mga ilang laba lang. Diba? Sobrang kupas na kupas na. Diba? Magiging dirty white na yung kulay. And syempre, um, ang mga hotels, bumibili sila or nagpa-purchase sila ng mga linen, depende sa mga trusted manufacturers. Diba? So, hindi pwede na basta-basta na lang tayo bibili sa kung sino-sino. So, meron silang mga manufacturers na talagang kinukunan ng mga linens. And of course, size. So, purchasing linen of the correct size is extremely important as wrong sizes can affect appearance and even hamper operations besides avoidable wastage and loss of money. So, syempre, ang bibilin mong linen is akma doon sa size ng bed. Diba? Ang bibilin mong linen is akma doon sa standard ng isang hotel. So, we need to avoid yung pag... Um, pag-aaksaya ng pera. That's why si purchasing department, diba, si procurement, is talagang tinitingnan nila yung mga bawat item na necessary bilhin for the hotel. And then, the next one is the control of linen. So, control of linen falls in three activities or three areas of activity. So, hygienic standard and appearance of linen is very important. Kailangan natin i-maintain yung itsura ng linen. Baka mamaya ilang months pa lang nag-ooperate yung hotel pero pu um, puro sira-sira na or damage na yung mga linens. And syempre dapat malinis. So ayaw naman natin na dayain natin yung mga detergents, diba? yung mga fabric conditioner na ginagamit natin kasi yan is mahahalata ni Guess. Okay? So pag si Guess is nakita niya na very, um, um, let's say, may odor, di ba? May bad odor yung pinakalinens, yung mga bata. Well, so most likely magpo-complain si Guess. So daily routine exchange of linen between floors, departments, linen room, and laundry. And syempre, purchase records, inventories, stock taking, and stock taking records. So all of it are involved sa three areas of activities ng pagkocontrol natin ng linens. The next one is the uniform. So as mentioned last time, that uniform is a status symbol for the employees and an excellent way of impressing the guests. So kasama sa linen room at sa laundry department, ang paglilinis din ng mga uniform ng mga employees within the hotel. And it serves as a status symbol kasi the moment that you wear the uniform, you are representing the hotel. You are representing your workplace. And one way to do it is to wear it properly, diba? properly groomed, properly hygiene, in order for you to impress the guests. So it ensures proper grooming of the staff and reflecting hotel standards. So syempre kung sa school meron tayong standards sa pagsusuot ng uniform, it's the same thing pag nagtrabaho ka sa hotel. So kung kailangan na naka-close neck, kung kailangan na naka-tuck in, kung kailangan na nakasuot yung scarf, so, dapat susundin natin siya. So, having a uniform enables the guests to identify staff and their position in the organization. So, syempre, you will be able to determine kung siya is waiter. You will be able to determine kung ang uniform niya is pang housekeeping. Diba? You are able to determine if ang uniform niya is pang um, front office associate. So, it serves as a um, hint para malaman natin kung Sino ba to? Saan ba tong department nag-work? So, to the employee as a status symbol, it creates a sense of belonging and thereby boosting employee 
moral. So, para naman sa mga employees natin sa hotel, para sa inyo na magtatrabaho sa tourism industry in the future, so, it will make you feel motivated. It will make you feel that you are belong to a particular workplace. Kasi pare-parehas kayo ng uniform, di ba? Hindi ka naiiba. And it will help boost your morale. And apart from aesthetic appeal, uniforms are frequently designed to suit the task that is carried out. So dahil um, we are appreciating the beauty of the uniform, so the uniform serves also as your way to do the task, di ba? Kasi syempre, kapag housekeeper ka, kahit sabihin mo na mahirap maglinis ng room, mahirap maglinis ng mga bathrooms, you still need to wear your uniform. Okay? Because that is um, intended for a specific purpose. So, whatever uniform you are wearing in the near future, if you are working in a hotel, in a kitchen, in a front office department, in the food and beverage department, in the office, diba? if you are working in the airline industry, aviation industry, so wearing a uniform is a must. And that makes you who you are in the future. So, syempre, you have to be passionate kung ano yung um, trabaho mo, and you have to carry out your uniform in the best way possible. So that's the end of our presentation about linen and uniform rooms. So if ever you miss some points in our lesson video, please feel free to replay this lesson video in YouTube. Thank you so much for listening in today's lesson and have a nice day.